We got some rain at the very end of our trip to the Wild Adventure Corn Maze Sunflower Days. Right, right. This is what it looked like. Uh-huh. And, and you can see, this is where sort of facing west-ish. Mm-hmm. You can see that sun going down and those dark storm clouds. And we were there for an hour afterwards. Till mm-hmm. not, they're open till nine. Uh-huh. And um, we got this pleasant summer rain. For me, it was the perfect night. It was pretty nice, honestly. The amount of mud that we had to deal with was not ideal. <laughs> no, it was, it was suboptimal, um, as we well, say. And, and I felt kind of bad for poor little Rango, you know, because I just held him the entire time. And he... Okay, I will say he had a field day when we were there because he was just, you could see his little nose going oh, just, crazy. And they said you can bring a dog as long as uh-huh. it's, it's on a leash, right? Yeah. yeah. On, a, on a leash, well behaved, and you pick up after him if he needs picked up after. Okay. Super simple. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so we went, he had a great time, but I felt bad at the end because then he was getting a little rained on <laughs> and I could tell he was getting a little uncomfortable because yeah. he does not like the rain. Oh, I loved it. Yeah. I actually ended up using a sunflower, like a little umbrella for him to get back to the car with. <laughs> and we've got a, you heard it here first. We've got a, we've got it on good authority that they are extending it by, it was supposed to end this past weekend. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah, but now you can go this weekend. Extending it by one more week. How exciting is that? Yeah. And then they shut down for a while. Mm-hmm. And then the Wild Adventure Corn Maze itself opens, I think, in mid-September? Uh, it's September 16th. Here's the obligatory Carly picture for this year. We showed you mm-hmm. last year's last week or two weeks ago. Right. I do like that Senorito Beanie Weenie is in it. <laughs> and I want you to check out his tag. Carly's always so extra, but look at this. <laughs> His tag is the Idaho Falls Water Tower. It is. Actually, that's by a local artist, too. She does all kinds of really cool handmade uh, collars, leashes, and tags. Um, She does a lot of anime-themed stuff, which is super fun. Uh, Let me see if I can find her name so that we can include it. Okay, yeah. Yeah, so you can find all of her stuff at Mioyani. That's M-E-O-Y-A-N-I.com. Uh, she's got all kinds of really cute little designs, and you can have custom tags made, too. Link in post. We'll do that for you. And then, you know the uh, Homer disappearing into the bushes meme? <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> because the sunflowers just butted up right next to the corn stalks uh-huh. for the corn maze, I decided to do my own disappearing Homer <laughs> only into the corn. Mm-hmm. Here it is. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. You goober. That was fun. <laughs> I've told you my other idea for a cornfield too, right? No, I don't know if you have. I want to know if any farmers will take me up on this. I say take me up on oh, this. Wait. Like I'm offering you something. Okay, wait. I think I do know what you're going to say. I don't know if any farmers Your dream. would um, do this for me. Would allow you to do this. It's just a thought I had. One of those intrusive thoughts. Uh-huh. You know the call of the void? Yes. When uh-huh. you're going around a curvy mountain road. And yeah. you're like, what if I just let go of the wheel? Yeah. Yeah. Or you're like standing on a cliff and you're like, I, I could just jump. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is an intrusive thought that I'd like to act on. Now, I'll only do it, you know, with, with permission from the landowner. Right. I would like to go- And in a private enough place that no one will see you. <laughs> yeah. And it's going to have to be at night in an undisclosed right. location. Right. I would like to go streaking <laughs> through a cornfield. <laughs> Just go running as fast as I possibly can. It just even maybe in my skivvies is fine. Right, right. As fast as I possibly can through a cornfield. I want to know what that feels like. Would you be wearing shoes? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. I would hope so. Yeah, yeah. Man, I bet you'd feel like one of those aliens from Signs if you did that. <laughs> maybe that's where I got the idea. Maybe. I want to go running through a cornfield. <laughs> I mean, I I wonder if your face would get sliced up from the leaves. I kind of want, I wouldn't worry as much about your face as I would other parts. Well, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying, what what's the likelihood that you go running through and one just comes swinging back and bops you right in the, <laughs> <laughs> right in the wiener? It could happen. <laughs> it could happen. <laughs> right in the cob. <laughs> yeah, right, right in the cob. <laughs> oh, my kernels. <laughs> Bring me some butter, quick. <laughs> you popped your corn. <laughs> <laughs> but what's funny is when you're naked and you're wearing shoes, mm-hmm. you look more naked. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you certainly feel more naked. Right. It's it's not an exhibitionist thing. <laughs> no. It's not, you don't want people to see you. No, no, no. Yeah, you just want to feel it. 
Well, okay. All right. Now we're getting, now it's sounding like a kink. I just want to know what it's like, mostly on my face. I right, don't, I don't right. really care about anything else. Yeah. So realistically, you could probably accomplish the same task shirtless. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Sure. That's fair. I just pictured, mm-hmm. you know, because I'm binary. Yeah. It's that's one fair. or the other. Yeah. On or off. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Dressed I, or naked. You know, I will say there's a part of me that wants to be naked in a rainstorm. But, oh, yeah, sure, right? That's a, like that's the just one, nature shower. Like the one last week at Sunflower Days. I think I'd want it to be heavier rain. Oh, yeah, for like, sure. Like, I want it to be like gobs of rain. Then you need to move to Florida, my friend. I probably do. Oh, Florida freaks me out, though. Oh, but I mean, some they'll have afternoon showers that are just, right. they feel like warmer than a shower. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. I could see that. But they also have cockroaches, you know, this big. I couldn't do that. Well, and not to mention, if I moved to Florida, like, Rango would get eaten by an alligator in a week. Real quick. Like, I, I mean, I he wouldn't, because, like, I would defend him. But if he was left in a backyard for 10 minutes... He would get eaten by an alligator. <laughs> yeah. He would never be left alone right. for that long, but but it, it could happen. It could happen. <laughs>